Yeah, first of all, we have uh, three different air gate teams which are placed on different positions at the racetrack that we can reach every pylon in the shortest possible time. And each of these teams consists of five persons. There it is, all clear. Now, Costa, 207 miles per hour. Perfect start speed for the Italian pilot into the chicane for the first time. This is where he tightens his racing line. Now he starts to focus and look ahead to the BTF. Vertical turn maneuver. 12 G pulled on the stick with the half Cuban turnout. Let me put that into perspective, ladies and gentlemen. Formula One racing drivers pull 4 G, only 4 G, on some of the toughest tracks around the world. Our pilots here today pulling 10 to 12 G every time they pull that stick back. It looks aggressive, but it takes a lot of skill. It must be a smooth maneuver to keep the plane traveling through the air cleanly and, of course, too aggressive, and that plane will stall at the top of the VTM. Now it's time to watch the clock. Tell Italy you get the better of Great Britain, and Costa stops the clock. Oh, he's two seconds off the pace. 53-49. I'm happy to report that's Great Britain 1, Italy 0. One more heat to go, ladies and gentlemen. One more chance to see, for me, Britain's future whale on. Now watch that smoke trail carefully, because if it's a single line through the chicane, it's a very smooth line. That tells us that he's flying with speed. And this looks good. This looks very good from Costa. Maybe David's his best to last. A very high vertical turning maneuver but that possibly gives him more speed coming down on the back side she came for the second time very smooth accurate quick work on the stick got to be careful not to be too aggressive as we said earlier on the second vtm less speed in the plane easy to pick up that little wing stall and now Costa is right on the mark of Ben Murphy. If we were watching this live on TV, you'd have all those clocks and seconds ticking away on your screen. Costa goes with, oh, Costa hits the pylon. The penultimate gate has been taken down. Dario Costa trying to beat Ben Murphy, hits the pylon, it deflates. Three seconds of penalty. It means that Dario's second time is a 57 second time. Ben Murphy is still unbeaten for Great Britain here at the Farmer Air Show. A very brave performance from Dario Costa. His own track record, 51.49 is the fastest today. He flew a 50.48 yesterday. He's looking to nip about a second off his time. 12G on the stick. Now watch the half Cuban to bring the plane level down the track in the westerly direction through the chicane smooth tight on the racing line is the way to keep the clock with you rather than against second and final vertical journey maneuver too aggressive and that plane will stall the air won't support the wing but Murphy has it time to perfection as he comes now back into the chicane. It's all about the clock. 51.49, he's looking to better. 54 yes. This is quick, this is fast. It is a new track record. Ben Murphy, 50.39 seconds. Not only improves his first heat, that is the fastest time of all week here in Farnborough. That is a great performance from Ben Murphy. Dario Costa down to the 25 meter pylon. Wings must be level through gate one. 
Perfect entry and perfect start for Murphy. Gate two. Quick turn between, into the chicane. Smooth but quick movements on the stick. Left, right, left. Reach level again. Now this is the end of the first part. Up he goes. The vertical turn maneuver with a half Cuban turn out. Time now for the next gate. Again, wings level. It looks fast. It looks good. Chicane for the second time. Here is the second and final vertical churn maneuver. Now, if we were in a race right now, Murphy is looking to keep the energy of the plane up as we decelerate just a little on lap two. Murphy now heads for the finishing line. For the British pilot in the cockpit, it's all about the clock. Stopping the clock, stopping the clock record, and Murphy, a clean flight, penalty free, and a 